Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's the last test match for us for the year, and I don't think we play another test match until June next year against England. So it will be a well, you know, um, after this before we play another test match. So I think it will be a fitting way to end the end the year, and you know, having started the year with a series win, I think it would be really, really good to finish the year with a series win as well. Um, Afghanistan will be no pushover, especially here in these conditions, which. I probably would assume they'll play plenty of spinners and you know it's up to our batters to negotiate their, their spinners. They've got some pretty good spinners as well too, so I believe it'll be a really good challenge. But I think our bowling unit has done a tremendous job over the last three to four years, you know, and it's it's probably been arguably one of the better bowling attacks in the year. I mean in the in the in the in the world. So hopefully our bowlers could continue uh, where they left off in, in against India early up in the year and you know finish this, this series well. And uh you know, similarity in the conditions which we just mentioned, you know, uh, to the Caribbean series? Um, yeah, I think the only difference is maybe in the Caribbean you get a bit more bounce. Um, in terms of the pace of the pitches, I, I don't think they're too um, far apart. You know, the paces of the pitches in the Caribbean have slowed down tremendously, but I think of late you've been getting a little bit more bounce and carry. Um, for me, I think the skill level of our bowlers really, really drives us and really pushes us to that next level. You know, we've got Kemar Roach, you know, um, Shannon Gibb is not here, but he's done a tremendous job for us. But I think they've more so, so had success due to their skill as opposed to, you know, pace or, or anything else, to be fair. Um, I think in this day and age, you've got to be skillful, you know, regardless of the format you're playing. And, you know, we've got some pretty skillful seamers at that. and then. You know, we've got some spinners who are eager to get into to these conditions because obviously they're oh, they're probably more in favour of, of them. But I think overall it should be a really good challenge, um, and I'm really looking forward to the start of it.